Welcome back to Garage Garage. You saw the boys wrap up shit car, rear mount turbo, all those goodies. Whoo. And we figured since we started with good old shark cart, we would circle back to shark cart. Time for some love. Because you can't pimp one shitty car out without pimping out the other, huh? So for the noobs out there to give you a little history on our shark cart, yeah. we got the car for 200 bucks from some kid. Really nice guy, really nice gesture, but his car sucked. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. You're not even gonna make it rain on him? Yeah, there it is. There it is. We had Zach jump at first because we hated the car. He jumped at me out of like six times, still ran. So we figured, hey, let's chop all the bodies off, put a little cage around it and see if it'll be more fun. Well, the Miata was crashed a few times before, before Zach even did it. And then it was crashed a few times again after you guys uh, did this. So this car has been through a lot and I think the final straw was Dan took it to Ryan Literal's drift event, the Voodoo Ride Summer Bash. Do we have no forward gears? Nothing. No, I broke the whole tail shaft off. Oh, man, Dan. I think it's time to beef this old girl up. So the main three concerns are power adder, bash bars, and of course the icing on the cake, livery. All right, so there you have it. Welcome back to Garage Garage. Garage Bad Daddy. Garage. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Bad Daddy, Braddy, and Dan are gonna take over the reins as usual because this is where they like to play. All right, so first things first. Let's go de-box, put all those parts on the table, and show you what our plan is with power adders and other things that we got for the car. And then after that, my favorite part, the destruction. Let's just strip her down. Ooh, yeah. Supercharger, baby. Skunk 2 intake manifold. And a Skunk 2 throttle body. All the best power adders. We're gonna throw it on here. We are gonna get the front end taken apart, the liquids out, and get it kind of mocked up so that we know where the parts that we need to put on it are there. What do we got, Brad? We got 1.8 liter of fun right here. Where's it going? going in the uh, shark cart because our 1.6 liter was uh, inperficient. And who uh, who got it for us? JDM of California. Appreciate it, you guys rock. What are you doing? I got us a new 1.8 liter and we're gonna put on the new intake manifold, new throttle body and injectors, as well as I stripped off, or I'm gonna strip off the header. But yeah. I'm prepping this for you and you're, I guess, gonna prep that for me. Yeah, I'm gonna pull the motor out. We're gonna finish up some of the stuff we didn't do on the first one. So add some more bars on the side, stiffen up the front, new bash bars, cause they're absolutely destroyed. And it's been crashed so many times. So I'm gonna get started on pulling the motor. Brad's freshening up the new motor and then uh, throw the 1.8 back in if, you have that all prepped, which I'm sure you will. Well, we got the stock motor out, the 1.6. It's on the ground. 1.8 is still getting prepared. One thing we have to do is take the clutch that we got off of the 1.6, put it on the 1.8. I'm assuming we wanna use this one, even though Brad resurfaced this with an angle grinder. <laughs> Perfectly resurfaced, ready to go. What's your consensus? Doesn't look good, but we're gonna use it. Good morning, back at the shop. Little progress on shark cart. Trans is on, 
Clutch is on. Intake manifold. What else, Brad? We got the wire loom basically laid out for the new 1.8 liter. Man, it looks so clean. Yeah, and then Helltech came in and gave us their plug and play adapter harness. Mm -hmm. So this is all factory wire loom. Right. And then this is what they made for us to go to their Dude, Elite so 750. Sick. So if this is a factory Miata, you would just bolt that straight in. Bolt oh, that straight in. Done. And then we have 16 more pins that we can do all sorts of neat stuff with. Brad's got a little wiring. We're gonna put the motor back in. Uh, the other factory mounts were ripped. We did replace those with the factory mounts from the 1.8. We got quite a bit of work to do today. We're just mainly focused on getting this thing in, getting the supercharger on it and getting it running. All right, so Brad and I are mounting up the supercharger. If this was a factory Miata, where you had air conditioning and power steering and all that, it would bolt right in with that. It's really cool. Wow, that's it, we're on. This is a very user-friendly kit, pretty awesome. We're gonna get this engine dressed up and ready to go in it. So yeah, a quick little update. Engine's in, bay is painted, looks pretty good. Now we're just trying to mock up the piping. We're gonna have to modify it though because this is made for a stock Miata. But as of right now, I mean, we're just trying to diagnose what's going on. We had to switch the back coil packs because they were a different system what we had from the 1.6 to the 1.8 now. We're gonna plug away just a little bit and then pick the rest of it up tomorrow. Hopefully get it running tomorrow and uh, see what we have to do before we get to the dyno. But we'll pick up then. Brad. Good morning. Dan. Hey. Andrew. Thanks for coming in and helping us out. Absolutely. What do we got going on today, Dan? We just figured out what motor we actually have. NB, NB motor, which is way better than what we wanted. But it just makes a big problem for you guys. Yes. Brad's doing something. What are you doing, Brad? Fuel lines. Fuel lines. He's the only one. What are you doing? I thought you were doing uh, something, Supervising. <laughs> we got to get to work before we get nothing done. Uh, we did finish the fuel pump, and so now we're trying to give these guys a nice place for their, their switches. All right, so the boys from Haltech are in the shop grinding on shark cart, so I'm gonna go see what they've been doing. Whoo, man, some familiar faces I have not seen in a while. How's it going? Not bad, what's up boys? What, what are you doing here? So, come out here and we're like, yo, hey, we're gonna do a 1.6 liter patch harness on this thing. Show up, I didn't NB 1.8 liter. Nothing is the same. Oh, there's the old motor. So I'm guessing the Skunk 2 Supercharger kit is for the 1.8 and they had to swap it. Yeah, they swapped it and everything was different, which is fine, we've kind of got to sort it now, so. Is this gonna run today? Should, yeah. Okay. Should. <laughs> uh, that right there is the original harness out of this car. With Ew. the 1.6 liter, the engine harness was integrated into the chassis harness. With the 1.8 liter, oh. the engine harness is separate. Oh, so that changed your whole game So up. it kind of changed everything up. So what we did was we just went directly into the ECU instead of having an adapter harness. We did an Elite 750 on this car, which is one of our entry level uh, ECUs. So it's got plenty of inputs and outputs. It's got an onboard map sensor that will do way more boost than that blower can actually crank out. <laughs> it's gonna be a better car. No more mass airflow sensor. You see that right there? No oh, more. so much science. Well. I'm excited to see what you get done. Absolutely. I just don't want you guys to think Andrew is just some computer nerd. He actually drives a SC300 really well. Oh yeah. I talked shit about his wheels, so he got big Johnny's. I did. <laughs> well, so, bad and good. Thanks, Andrew. Good luck. Have fun. What's the plan, bro? Split these. Cut them out. Make a two to one. Just use one of these. We don't have this exhaust. How close are you guys? You ready to go? Waiting on you, brother. Waiting on me? All right, I'll hustle up. We're almost there, but we're gonna try and get everything tied up tonight so when we go to the dyno tomorrow, we don't have any mishaps and uh, have a good day and this thing will just shred. And then I can do uh, the rest of the fab work because this is not gonna work out, obviously.
the car started, didn't we, Dad? We we didn't do shit. Yeah. Haltech killed it. Now they left for putting on the exhaust. We're done here. It's super late. Sounds good. Car runs. Can't do anymore right now. I'm too tired. Kyle's done. Bazooka tube it. That's a run! Yep. That's your uh, custom built two to one there, bud.